Happy Saturday, my friends. Raul Lopez Jr. here. I was listening to just a bunch of amazing uh, people today. Gary Vee, Tony Robbins, Wayne Dyer. Just I, I was just going through a lot of different, uh, I don't know if it's motivational, inspirational, just wisdom in my view. And uh, a combination of things when we listen and we hear this stuff. Um, for me, because I've been studying it so long and I have my own theories and my own trainings, uh, I, I think there's nothing new but listening to things over and over and in different perspectives is very powerful. So uh, a message that I got today, uh, I looked back on my own life. That's what, that's what I do. <laughs> that's what we all should do is when you hear something, you see something, you shouldn't go, oh, I need that person to hear that. I need that person to understand it. We got to look at it for us. We got to look inner and, and be self-aware and see what we can learn from that. And when we learn from it, then we can pass it on. Anyhow, the, uh, the message I got today was about generational patterns and then more specifically around finances around money and in short it talks about how when we're young the environment we're in and let's talk about financial that we will get to a certain level of financial status whether it be poor middle class or rich and that's where for the most part we'll stay if you're poor no matter what you try and do, if you have a poor mindset, no matter what you do, you'll stay poor. If you're middle class mindset, no matter what you do, you'll stay middle class mindset. I shouldn't say no matter what you do, because I'm gonna talk more about it. Then, if you're rich, even if you're a screw up, statistically, you'll continue to stay rich and be rich and do things, and, and that might have to do with your circle. It has to do with your circle. Now, we stay there unless we actually understand our subconscious and we do the work and we break the chains of where we've been conditioned to believe. I watched a video today. I may have reposted it. And I'm going to try and keep this short. It's so hard. And it was just, it was a little example and they put a whole bunch of fleas in a jar. And I don't know if you've seen fleas, but man, they, they could jump super high all over the place, right? And they put these fleas, a whole bunch of fleas in a jar, a small jar, and they put a lid on it and they left them there for three days, jumping, hopping, jumping, 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 hopping. After three days, they opened up the jar and the fleas would never jump out of the jar because all of a sudden, over just a three-day period, their capacity was, this is as high as we can jump. Then it said, and from then on, all their offspring will only go that far also because that's what their parents, that's what their environment is teaching them. This is all we can do. This is all we can do. This is all we can do. They're going to teach, if they're teaching, if those fleas are teaching their offspring to jump, they're going to say, look, this is how we can jump. This is how we can jump. <laughs> so when you go there and you're in the financial mindset and you try to understand that, you have to go beyond the jar. You have to go beyond and go, there has to be more. I tell people all the time, go beyond your current beliefs. Dream, believe beyond your current beliefs or you're going to be stuck. You're going to hit that top of that jar and you're never going to go any further. My mother, amazing, beautiful little woman, raised three of us, zero support from any fathers, worked her butt off, entrepreneur, owned dog grooming shops, sold pet supplies her entire life. We had what we needed. Not always what we wanted, but we had what we needed. When I wanted something outside of what I needed, right? The special pair of shoes, that special jacket, that trendy thing as a teenager, she would say, work for it. And we'd find a way to get it, right? I would go work for her actually, because she had a dog grooming shop and she'd say, I'll give you $3 for every dog you wash. Back in the 80s, I was a little kid, washing dogs, $3 a dog. If I washed 10 dogs, I'd get 30 bucks. That's a lot of money back in the 80s. So, and I'd go get whatever I wanted. Back then, you could buy the most expensive Nikes were 49 bucks, and that was like, you know, $250 to today. So, um, I learned growing up, conditioned, that I can work and have everything that I need. But if I want something more, I got to find a way to get it. That's also a pattern. That's also a paradigm in that. We have everything we need. If we want something more, let's go find a way to get it, but then come right back to the paradigm. You got to get outside of that. Get out of your current beliefs and receive everything and anything, not only that you need, but what you want. It's two different things. It's not just about the money and money's not going to change your life and make you happy. Well, it will change your life, but it's not going to be, that's not the happiness. I'm just giving you an example of roofs that we hit, of where we get stuck. Financial is one of them. If, there, if you can't get past where you currently are, there's a reason for it. I'd love to talk to you more. We're doing cool events and mixers and things, and I'm doing trainings on this stuff. Uh, I do one-on-ones on this type of topic. If you want to hear more, message me. Let's chat. Enjoy the day.